Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to use the commands fillet and chamfer to modify corners, as I show you here. So, the command fillet will change the corner to an arc, which I specify typing the radius. The command chamfer will change the corner to a line, which in this case I specify typing the distances from the corner to the intersection. So, I will start with the command fillet. Ok, I'm going to draw a rectangle with a command line and I will specify the dimensions as 100 per 50. Ok, once I finish, I click on the command fillet, which I can find it over there. Ok, so I will try to convert to an arc this corner. I select this line and when I select the second line, I realize that no arc was created. This usually happens when I'm using the command for the first time, as the radius is by default 0. Ok, we are going to repeat the process again. I click on fillet. Now, if I look to the command bar, I can see all these options. So, I type R for radius. So now I will enter a radius, uh, for example 10. I'm going to choose the lines again. And as you see, I have put in this corner an arc of radius 10. Now I will apply fillet to the other corners. I press enter to activate the command again. Now I select this line and this another, and an arc was created with the same radius. Now I will apply to the corner below, but this time I want to change the radius to 20. I type R and enter 20. Now I select the lines and it's done. In the next part I will show you how to apply fillet to polylines. So I am drawing the same figure but this time as a polyline instead of lines. Now that I finish I type F for fillet and this time I will enter P for polyline. I enter 10 for the radius and when I select it creates arcs for all the corners, except this one, where I started and finished the polyline. So, if I want to apply to all the corners in one polyline, I have to type CL to close it. Doing this is like the polyline doesn't have a start and an end point. So, the polyline will continue also in this corner. I will use fillet again. And you can see that it's now applied for all the corners. Now I want to show you how to use fillet keeping the original corner. I activate the command again and this time I will type T. As you see I can switch between trim and no trim. I choose no trim and when I select the objects the original is not going to be deleted. Now, if I want to do fillet in several corners in only one time, I activate fillet and now I type M for multiple. So I'm able to do the operation in different corners instead of activating the command again. Ok, in the last part of this video I will show you how to use the command chamfer. It works as the same way as the fillet, but the corner will be changed to a line. I will click on the arrow next to the icon fillet and choose chamfer here. So I am going to type D for distance and for the distance 1 I put 10 and for the distance 2 20 for example. I press enter. Now for the distance 1 that I put 10 I choose this line and I want 20 in this one. So as you see this is how the common chamfer works. Ok, before leaving, I want to tell you that the options trim, multiple and polyline that I applied for fillet, you can also use them in the command chamfer. So this is all from my side, if you found this tutorial useful for you, you can subscribe my channel in order to see more tutorials of AutoCAD for beginners, also you will be notified for new updates. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.